today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different on my channel. Um, I'm going to be doing some more techie stuff on my channel and hopefully this will be the start of it and just apart from straight gaming and again I'm sorry for you guys for not getting a video up in a couple months. I have simply just forgotten so that's my fault but today we're going to be hopefully starting a new trend. So today I'm going to be showing you how to install OS X 10.9 Mavericks onto your Windows PC via Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. So this is a virtual machine run straight from your Windows desktop. You don't have to dual boot or any fancy crap. You can. It's really easy. And so all you need to do is hit New and create virtual machine. I'm just going to name it Mavericks. And if and that automatically selects it as Mac, so Mac OS X OS X Mavericks 10.9 64-bit. So if I hit next, I'll give it about four gigs of memory. Uh, you can give it up to down to two gigs as well. I will create a virtual hard drive. Make sure it's a VDI that's dynamically allocated, and I'll give it about a hundred. But it can work with twenty. Alright, so simple, that's there. So if I hit, uh, I'm going to change a couple things in settings here. So we've got to go to system, and down here under extended features, it has this automatically tipped, enable EFI. So it's a special kind of BIOS, which you don't want, it won't work with the bootloader. So untick that, and then if we go down to storage, you click here on this little CD, make sure you hit live CD DVD and then choose the ISO file which I'm going to link down in the description below so if you look down there then there will be a link for where to download this ISO file alright so if you click OK and then start your machine should start up so you come up with here with nairash12495.com um, so what I do is I type dash v to start up with diagnostic messages just in case it, it fails so here we go so it may look like a lot of crap alright so it will come up with this boot cache control on our un unable to open dash ver dash db dash boot cache dot playlist to no such file or directory if you just wait that will continue on it may take a while but I promise you guys it will continue on with the installation there we go we can, it doesn't matter if there's error messages there guys it's going it'll keep on it'll keep on going and it will successfully be able to install OS X Mavericks so just don't restart at this point just let it keep on going very important So, I might pause this video here and then I will get back to you guys when the OS X install screen is up. And welcome back guys, so what may have only been half a second for you, which only like a minute or two for me, but it was really quick and it went through, as I said, to this loading, to this install screen. So, yeah, I'm going to use English for my main language, click next. Install OS X. So there we go. The Mavericks logo. And what you need to do here is um, just something that needs to be done. So you need to go to Disk Utility under Utilities there. And you see here your 112.95 gigabyte V box hard drive disk, hard disk media set here. So yeah, that's. What you need to do now 
case we had a partition one partition I'm gonna name it Macintosh HD alright so you do that name it Macintosh HD uh, under options here just make sure it's the same there and make sure the format is Mac OS Extended Journal. So you hit Apply and Partition. So you just wait for that to partition and mount. So there you go, now you have your Macintosh HD. So now you can close Disk Utility and run through with the OSX install. So you hit so there you go, your minimum requirements, two gigs of RAM, but four gigabytes is recommended. Ten gigabytes of free space on your hard drive or more. So yeah, so there we go, to install you must erase the volume as Mac OS X instant in journal using the application disk utility. So if you just hit agree here and then you can click Macintosh HD for your where you want to install Mavericks. And that will take about 25 to 30 minutes. Even though it seems like it's going really fast there, it's, it's not. It goes for about half an hour. So I'm going to pause the video here and uh, get back to you guys. So yeah, I'll see you in about half a second. And welcome back guys. So again in this half a second we have gone about a half an hour and the install has almost been completed. And yeah. So it's a very simple process of installing and it unleashes the mighty power of OS X. So, again, if you are watching this and are really confused, I will I will probably put step-by-step -step instructions down in the description below on how to do this specifically, and so you can follow along with the video if need be. One thing I'd also suggest doing is, in the settings, Go to display and increase the video memory. But of course you need your virtual machine to be off when you're doing that. Alright, so there we go, a big spike. So we're almost done with the installation and we'll be able to continue with the setup process. So again, it was it's been about half an hour to forty five minutes before the install, so there we go, the installation is complete restart to complete the installation of OS X on Macintosh HD. Click restart to restart your computer now. So it automatically restart for me. So there we go, it'll go to system uptime in nanoseconds. This is when you can go to machine and reset. Now when you come to this loading screen, you can arrow down to Macintosh HD and hit enter. And there you go guys, your version of Mac OS X Mavericks 10.9 is working. So, yeah. It is a very nice operating system but I'm also looking forward to getting some hands-on time with Yosemite which I'll be doing some 
Minecraft, which I will be showing you guys how to install in one of my next videos. This video will play a key part if you do not have a Mac running um, Mavericks or any any computer that can download Yosemite. So this will. So if you're watching this video, to help with that video, I will also link the next video down in the description below once I've done it and uploaded it. So yeah. So, of course we have the famous speedy wheel, the Apple logo, and it's all running inside our Windows desktop environment. So here we go. Welcome, in a few steps you can register and set up your Mac. So, obviously I'm in Australia, I'm viewing a US keyboard, and don't transfer any information now. I won't sign in with my Apple ID. I will agree to the OSX terms and conditions. I'll just name this admin and I'll just do password. It's just ABCD. Won't require the password for unlock the screen. So There you go. I won't send the diagnostics. You should start it through Apple. Hint can't contain the password. Ah, I won't have a hint. I know what the password is. Next, I'm going to go creating an account. I won't register this Mac. Skip. There you go. Now we are setting up your quotation Mac. So basically this is a smaller version of a Hackintosh. And there we go. Guys, so we've got our OSX Mavericks up and running. But you may notice it is a small display size. If I try and maximize it, it'll just say the same. I'll do another video on how to make that bigger because I'm sure this video has gone on for long enough. So with this You've got your, so there you go, so your Hackintosh is being configured, be sure to do not restart or shut down as it says, because those repairs and stuff need to be configured, there's permissions and everything, so there you go, oh sex is all the repairing permissions, so just leave it, f I'd say for about half an hour it'll just keep them popping up notifications which you can check in the sidebar so yeah everything everything works you've got the app store um, you've also got a special store called um, the hack store <laughs> so yeah basically what the hack store is is like the app store but all the apps are free so I don't download my apps from there, it's just something that comes with Mavericks but well, not like this version of Mavericks so again I'm going to say that this is not my installer this installer is courtesy of Nairesh so yeah if I go to about this Mac I think it'll log out because it doesn't want me to look about my Mac. So it's as it said in here, it's it thinks that this is a Mac Pro. So yeah. That's just the permissions being installed. So you've got identifying your keyboard immediately to the to the right of the shift key so we go United States keyboard so yeah this is your setup OS X Mavericks so hope you guys have enjoyed this video I'm sure I've certainly enjoyed showing you guys and be sure to 
but give a thumbs up on this video comment down below what you think what you would like more of if you'd like more of this stuff if you want some more gaming if you want gaming like suggest videos suggest, suggest games so yeah thanks guys and i'll see you in my next one so again be sure to comment put this give a thumbs up and subscribe hit that red button it'll it definitely helps me out a lot and it good and it's good good to show you guys with more updates and it's good to know that you guys are watching my videos and